Tamara exchanged her usual military boots and camouflage for a long evening dress. Most of the other women, however, remained faithful to their military uniforms, which had become so familiar to them. It is very difficult, seeing this war, thinking about it, to visit such an event and feel like a real woman. Because if you stay strong and tough all the time, even sometimes you look at yourself and you think whether you are a woman or a man. You take on masculine characteristics. But we know that our Ukrainian women know how to fight and how to help. But also we know how to remain women. Each of the women has her own story from the war zone. These women fight on the front line, but fearless fighters can still turn into gentle women when they are getting flowers or twirling in a waltz. We decided to arrange a holiday for them. Of course, we expected that they would change their military uniforms for beautiful evening dresses. But unfortunately, for women who are at war, it's very difficult. They were on the front line and experienced quite a lot. I really want our people to return to a peaceful life. Soldiers came to congratulate the women on the holiday. They were grateful to them for their support and courage. I want to express my deep gratitude to the Ukrainian mothers who gave birth to such daughters. I cannot find the right words to express how much help they have given us during hostilities. They are like sisters to us. I congratulate everyone on the International Women's Day. I want to wish them health. I wish the events that they have experienced never happen again in the life of their children. I wish them to give birth to many Ukrainian children. I thank them for everything. About 20,000 women serve in the armed forces of Ukraine. Almost 2,000 of them are serving in the conflict zone in eastern Ukraine. Despite this, they say that peace in Ukraine would be the greatest reward for them. This is Vivica Williams with UATV.